I am Shazam Mick for Patch, and welcome to Ondara News. Now let's get this cracking. Here is the latest news. Frugal social workers true wealth discovered after death. Alan Naiman was so famously frugal he even duct taped his worn out shoes. So when he died this year, his friends were stunned to discover his wealth. Alan Naiman was so thrifty he taped up his old shoes instead of buying a new pair, and spent a large part of his days scouring shops for the best grocery deals. So when he died in January this year at the age of 63 following a battle with cancer, his friends were stunned to learn the reclusive US social worker was actually a secret multimillionaire. Mr. Naiman, an unmarried former banker who had no children or close relatives of his own, left the bulk of the 15.6 million Australian dollars fortune he had stealthily saved over many decades of sacrifice to various children's charities devoted to helping sick, disabled, poor or abandoned kids. According to close friend Shashi Karan, Mr. Naiman, who lived in Washington state, inherited millions from his parents after their death. However, he also saved millions of his own after working several jobs and cutting down on all but essential purchases for himself, Mr. Karen told AP. Mr. Karen said after his friend's death, he discovered the man had many secrets. I don't know if he was lonely. I think he was a loner, Mr. Karen said. According to AP, Mr. Naiman's State Department of Social and Health Services role, which he had held for 20-odd years, netted 95,448 Australian dollars per year, a figure he added to by working up to three other side jobs. Another friend, Susan Madsen, said Mr. Naiman's devotion to vulnerable kids stemmed from his close relationship with his brother, who had a developmental disability and who died in 2013. Growing up as a kid with an older, disabled brother kind of coloured the way he looked at things, Ms. Madsen told AP. The organisation reported Mr. Naiman would treat his friends to fast food lunches to save money, was excited once he was able to claim discounts for senior citizens, only drove old cars and bought cheap clothes from grocery stores. His donations included $3,549,125 Australian dollars for the Paediatric Interim Care Centre, which assists the kids of drug-addicted mothers, and $1,277,685 Australian dollars for the Treehouse Foster Care Organisation. The frugality that he lived through, that he committed to in his life, was for this, Treehouse Chief Development Officer Jessica Ross told AP. It's really a gift to all of us to see that pure demonstration of philanthropy and love. Right double quotation mark. Mr. Naiman's friends said they had decided to speak out about his incredible selflessness and sacrifice to pay tribute to him as the first anniversary of his death approaches. I am Shazam Mick for Patch. This is on Dara News. We hope you enjoyed the show. Until next time. Bye bye for now. <laughs>